I made Spanish subtitles for this entire video in just a couple minutes and I don't even speak Spanish. That's because I let AI translate and subtitle my videos into different languages. This can be helpful for creating translated transcripts for your videos that you can then upload so YouTube can add different subtitle languages and increase your reach to international audiences. Or you can add subtitles with other languages on top of your videos for a school project, for work, and more. So today I'm going to show you guys how to translate your videos into other language and keep these subtitles on screen. Then I'm going to show you guys how to translate a transcript and then just download the SRT files. You can upload these files and host the transcript of different languages on any different website that you may be using. And I'm going to show you guys how to do all of this in just a few clicks and a couple minutes using the AI-powered online video editor, Kapwing. Let's get into it. Okay, cool. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just click the first link in the YouTube description and it'll take you to Kapwing's translate video page. And all you're going to have to do is click the upload video button. So then obviously you're just going to want to upload your video. So you can either drag it in or you can paste in a link to a video online. So once you upload your video, it'll automatically open up the subtitler. And you'll want to click over to the magic subtitler, which is our new subtitler, which is way easier and much quicker to generate subtitles. And then just wait for it to finish uploading. And then when you're done, you can click the generate subtitles button. You also can open up the little arrow key down here, which you can either manually enter subtitles if you want to, or upload an SRT or VTT file if you already have the subtitles done. But I'm just going to click generate subtitles and then generate subtitles. And then just wait for it to transcribe. So my first step in translation might actually surprise you. It's to make sure that you look over your transcript in English or whatever native language that you spoke your original video in and make sure that it's all right. Sometimes there are certain words that the auto transcriber just doesn't get quite right. For instance, it sometimes has trouble with things like acronyms or it might have trouble with names. Then the translation will ultimately be wrong because this is what informs the translation later. So you want to make sure that your original language that you recorded your video in is being exactly detected by the AI correctly first. So go through here, you can go ahead and make any edits that you may want, blah, 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 blah. And then when you're done with the original version, then what I like to do is go over to the language button, which is right here um, up top, just next to the download button. And then you change the translate to button. So I can just now change this to Spanish. And now the translation should have many fewer mistakes because the original transcription in English, in my case, has no grammatical mistakes in it as well. So that's my pro tip. And you can see that it's all exactly timed automatically to the words that I spoke, so you don't have to manually put in all the subtitles. This can be helpful for creating translated transcripts for your videos. So yeah, now it's all translated. What's also great is that if you want to change into another language and you want to download multiple versions with different translations, then you can just go up here, but you can just go ahead and then translate into another language. Let's try French and click translate. And there, it's done practically immediately. Now to make changes, you can just go ahead and click on the subtitles. And then you can change things like the font, the text color, and the background color. And you can also use our animations to do things like word by word subtitles. So for instance, you'll see that now it will highlight word by word as you're speaking. This can be helpful for, this can be helpful for creating translated transcripts for your videos. And you can use any of these different ones. Translated transcripts. And that just makes these subtitles really engaging if you do want them embedded directly on the video. This is also helpful for just doing English subtitles. Um, so if you want to do this for your videos just in English, this is great for short form as well. Now, if you want just the transcription, like if you want all of this on the left without having it actually be on your video and you want the SRT files, you can upload that to YouTube or wherever you want. So people can opt into using and watching the subtitles whenever they want, but they don't have to because they won't remain on screen. You can go over to this little download button on the top left, and then you can download the file as different files, TXT, VTT, or SRT. SRT is most commonly used for subtitles, for subtitle uploading to accompany a video. So you can just click that and then it'll download the SRT file and you can upload that to YouTube or wherever you want when you're uploading your video. And then when people click on the subtitle button, it'll have uh, French as an option in this case or whatever language that you translated. This can increase your reach a lot on YouTube. And then when you have the magic subtitles uh, on the video, you can just go ahead and click the delete button and remove them. And then your video won't have the subtitles embedded on the video itself 
just uh, when people opt in using the subtitle button on YouTube or wherever else. While you're in here, you're also able to make any edits that you may want by just clicking the split button and cutting out any of these silences if you want. You can also add images, overlays, um, audio using the audio tab, sound effects, and things like that. It's a full studio editor, as well as a translator and subtitler. When you're done, you can click the export project button in the top right, and then just click the export button again if all the formats and resolution are exactly how you want it, and then download it when it's done processing. For you guys, I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators, and stay up to date with creator tips like this one, and I will see you guys in the next one.